what is up business building warriors i figured that'd be a cool thing to call you guys moving forward because uh plan on making more content and i think it's cool for people to have like an identity as they watch the content so consider yourself a warrior you are a warrior building a business freaking sucks <laughs> Even when you do everything right, still things can suck. But today's video is actually a bit less on the sucky side. It's a pretty cool story of myself and how I went from, you know, a wedding photographer making two to three grand a month to actually making 20 grand a month teaching wedding photography. Okay, and having a coaching program. And this is in the span of about about six or seven months. So flashback to 2017, I was I was a full-time photographer. I mean, full-time, you know, I mean, I was making, making two or three grand a month. And, you know, I actually really enjoyed my job. And I've always really just enjoyed people and doing a people-oriented work, more of a creative work. I've always really, I've enjoyed that. You know, I've enjoyed expressing myself through my work. I've always enjoyed kind of, you know, getting to make something, you know what I mean? And so I found photography actually because a girl that I was interested in at the time liked photography and so I just picked it up thinking that, okay, if, if she likes photography and if I'm into photography, then, you know, carry the four, you know? <laughs> so that was, that was, the whole thought process was that. Yeah, you know, it, it was fun. You know, I had a good time with it. And it kind of sort of picked up its own steam. But so what happened was in 2017, my family went through, uh, we went through a house fire. So I was 17 years old. Lightning actually struck our home. I know that sounds super insane, but it's a true story. And maybe my editor can peel back through my Facebook and find pictures. It was nuts. And, uh, you know, I lost all my gear. So a house fire obviously destroys the things in the house. And the water destroyed the gear that I had at the time. And more than just destroying my photography gear, it, it really just kind of sparked in me a need to be like, okay, I really want to... I, I've, I always had this thought in the back of my head that I knew that I was capable of more, uh, more money, more, uh, just more in life in general. You know, I, I didn't really have any clarity as to what that might exactly look like. But I just knew that if, if I really applied myself I could probably do some bigger things and so I said okay I'm gonna figure something else out because obviously I don't have my gear and I didn't have a lot of cash in the bank at the time and then because of the house fire you know my family was like all right we're gonna be really 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 tight with with finances because we don't know where this thing is gonna go and so that caused a lot of you know stress in my family and so it was just a really it was a really dark sort of period for me at that time because it just helped me realize or forced me really to realize that I have to I have to figure something better out so I went online I actually found a guy's channel and I give him credit to this day for me figuring this out like i used to watch his videos all the time and i knew he sold courses in the in the description and stuff and i never really bought them i, I always thought courses were kind of a scam i was like you know courses are just a cash grab thing but i said okay you know i had like a grand in the bank and i spent like i think 250 bucks of it on one of his courses and i was like oh dang i see why this works i get it now i get like there was a true you know displacement of the value that i'd received to the amount of money that i paid and i said oh oh i get it now so I started making content and I got really lucky. Like the initial content that I started making about wedding photography actually did really, really well. You know, I think I was just blessed to have a, a decent communication skill. I like making content to this day. I love making content. I love just sitting in front of a camera and just talking and sharing stories and just sharing stuff that's worked for me. And um, so I, I launched a small course and it was 250 bucks and it was just, you know, it was aimed at landing your first wedding. I wasn't promising people to make, you know, six figures a year because I hadn't done that. It was just how to land your first wedding right and that was the promise and i just showed people how to do basic facebook organic marketing how to have a good client meeting uh, all the just super basic stuff like super basic rudimentary stuff uh, but it worked and i realized you know i read a book after the fact that really helped me clean up a lot of the messaging of my business expert secrets by russell brunson and he said if you're one step ahead of somebody then you can sell them that step and i was like dang that's exactly what happened here so then what happened was i was like well i'm selling this 250 dollars thing and that's that's great but i think i intuitively knew that okay well a wedding pays somebody you know two to four grand and this is 250 bucks what if i went ahead and i said and this is you know i don't know really where i got this it just kind of came to me that i was like okay what if i just start charging two grand i should and if i were to do that i should probably sell it over and at the time i was doing skype so zoom wasn't even a thing so i'd hop on skype calls with the people who would view my content i told people to message me a word over on my instagram page and i would hop on a skype call and see if they're a good fit and if they're a good fit i'd enroll them and at the time uh, this is back when somebody named sam ovens was becoming very very popular and i took some of the money that i'd made selling this 250 dollars course and i bought his two thousand dollar what's called the consulting accelerator and the main thing that i got from it was its sales script so i took the sales script and you know i obviously made it my own i didn't really do it word for word but then i started selling clients at you know two grand over the phone 
and to this day I use an iterated version of that script and, and clients that have learned under me you know learn an iterated iterated version of that script it's, it's it's less robotic you know what I mean it's maybe more personable but either way it worked and so I hopped on a call two thousand dollar sale which maybe sounds like too good to be true but when you know what I call the six stages of an enrollment call you know and you know how to run through those stages and get to a decision point then you can sell you know time and information for that rate and so I just kept making content I kept making YouTube videos kept putting myself out there and then I took some of the money as well of the money that I was earning selling the $2,000 coaching program and I just put it into simple ads to grow my platform so over on Instagram and here on YouTube I took like 10 or 20 percent of the volume that I was generating and I would just put it back into ads so on Instagram I would just literally click the boost post button so on the bottom right of your post you can literally see the boost post. I would just boost posts of like client testimonials and uh, good ranking content and stuff like that. And then here on YouTube, I would just run ads that just grew the channel and it killed it. And so I would just compound the profits month on month. And then I think it was by that seven or eighth month of doing it, I had that $20,000 month. So yeah. <laughs> that's kind of the story. I mean, it was a whole whirlwind. And the, th the thing that really blew my mind about the whole process was just how simple it was and how for so long I'd put these numbers on a pedestal of like 10K a month or 20K a month or whatever. And a lot of people on the internet who want to make money on the internet kind of do this. They have this like number. They're like, oh, once I make 10K a month or once I make 20K a month, then all of my problems will be solved. Then everything's going to get easier. And I'm here to tell you that's not at all how it works. Once you make 10K a month or 20K a month, you have to become a 10K or 20K a month kind of a person. And be able to think like that person in order to stay there so sort of sorry to say i had that twenty thousand dollar month and then i just got really comfortable and then i went right back down to like six grand the next month because i wasn't even trying right but i had the 20 game month and i could have kept it growing if i'd have kept trying and honestly if i knew then what i know now about growing businesses that wedding photography education company very well could have gone on to become a seven figure company right but that's kind of how i made the transition into what i do today so after that you know i i played around with a bunch of other business models you know one of which and i, I probably five or six different business models one of which was helping other coaches build and market and sell their program and i actually found a, a huge knack for that i loved doing that because you know i just i had this gift of an ability that i could just pull out of people good things and i could help them see themselves what maybe they didn't see and i found that that was extremely rewarding and so i just haven't stopped doing that so now for you know five years that's, what I, that's the main thing that i've been doing I've, I've thought about doing other businesses i've thought about doing a uh, a self-image reprogramming business because that's a huge part of my story it was in uh, 2018 i read the book psycho cybernetics for the first time and it helped me realize that a big part of why i was kind of stuck at you know quote stuck at 10 to 20 grand a month was because i just kind of had that like identity i had made an identity that that's how much i make you know what I mean? And now today, you know, if I'm not bringing in at least a quarter million bucks a month, something feels wrong. You know what I mean? Like it feels like my life is wrong if I'm not bringing in at least that much in sales. And I know that that might sound maybe a little too like trite. Is that the word? Like just shallow. But the, the truth is that who you believe you are, you end up getting that from life. And I think that I was operating with just the pure belief that I knew that I could figure it out. You know, because I, I think, you know, being being homeschooled and not really being uh, so tainted, I think, by the public education system was an advantage. And I think one of the things that the public education system does is it really gets you to think that in order to have X, you need to first qualify with like Y. You know what I mean? So you need to qualify yourself and, and, and you need to be knighted by a system that's bigger than you in order to then go and do it. And I've just never operated with that. And I see a lot of people, they do that. So a lot of people that get my help, you know, they feel the need to go get their coaching certification and stuff, which is totally fine. Like if you're in a complex niche, go get your certification. But I've, I've found that the people who are just like, yeah, I mean, I can probably figure it out if I sign a couple of clients and, and, and work it through and tell them honestly that, you know, I'm, I'm learning as they're learning, then I'll probably figure it out. And it's those people and I'm in that group that I just think can figure anything out. So if there's one key lesson for yourself as you listen to my story, I think it would probably be just stop waiting until you feel ready and just start taking action even if it feels uncomfortable even if you're not sure what the future is going to look like because even right now like today right now i'm making this content i'm putting myself out there and, I, and i'm taking a bet on a better future i don't even know if that better future is going to come i have no idea all i know is that if i stick to it and if i keep iterating my approach taking action and iterating my approach based on the feedback that I see from the market, from the comment section, from the, the sales calls, from the whatever, right? Then I will eventually 
have what I want to have you know, and my goal is to have an eight figure business. I'd love to be doing 10 million bucks a year and selling programs and products that I really feel are uh, just of real value to people and actually get them results and over deliver on their promises. You know, I want to be an eight figure company and we're well on track to doing it. It may, it may, it may take a couple years, you know, so it's another bet. You know what I mean? So I just want you to know, like in order to get what you want to get, you have to become a version of you that you aren't yet. And in order to become that version of yourself, you have to start acting in accordance with what that version of you would do now today, no matter how uncomfortable it is. So at the time, you know, when I first went through the loss of my photography gear, I said, okay, you know, I, I have to be a different version of myself. It wasn't just, I got to figure out another business model. It was, I, I sort of intuitively knew this is a personal development journey I'm on right now. I have to do better, not just find the right business. And you know, that's when I got really, really lucky. And I heard about psycho cybernetics and, and read that book and then it really just opened the whole world for me. So anyway, I hope this has been a valuable video. I'm kind of ranting now, but I just want to tell that story because I think it's really helpful for people to know both kind of where I kind of got my start, um, as well as maybe inspire some people who are at that stage you know, who are currently struggling to get off the ground and maybe some of the things and, and, and tools that I use that helped me. All right. So I hope that this was a valuable video and uh, stick around, watch some more and I'll see you in the next one.